Yesterday I asked you to remain long on gold till the time it trades above 1763-64 and see it has achieved 1795. I hope you all profited and likewise silver has also achieved 2040 but I, as I have always said 2040 is a strong resistance and it got the retracement, it got the resistance there and bounced and dropped slightly now trading at 2020 levels. Now what is going to happen today? Which position you should take in order to make profit? We will see with the help of candlestick charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment and do watch till the end and do listen to it carefully. Also the next update on gold will be up before the US cash session. Do watch that also. Let's start with gold first. Gold right now trading at 1791 level. On the hourly charts, you can see 1795 giving it a very strong resistance. Four candles getting the resistance there and it is failing to go pass by. Now see, even if it is trying to retrace and now the retracement levels are somewhere here at 1786 to 88. It probably may try to achieve and in fact it can come back till towards 1785 before it looks forward to any upward movement. So yes, it is looking forward to this zone and probably you have to be cautious you can remain short with the stop loss at 1795 expect it to come back till towards 1785 or 1782 83 zone that is the next support levels and then 1780 now previously 1780 was a very strong resistance on the upside now it is going to give you a very strong support so Yes, you can remain short, but be cautious because this is just a retracement and it can bounce back again. So you have to be cautious there. And this is just on the early charts. Let's have a more detailed look. Directional movement is bullish, but it is trying to converge. Stochastic is now looking upwards. The MACD is on the verge of a bearish crossover, which may bring some sell off. And MACD is looking down. If you look at the two hour charts, likewise on the two hour charts, four candles and the resistance there at 1795 pushing it back again on the downside classical formation there and it is trying to form this so probably even uh, yes even if it has to be bullish or it has to be it has to rise yet it may come back till towards this zone that is 1780 84 85 levels it may come back to these levels before looking forward to a rise and yes any breakout above 1795 it is going to fly high this time if it breaks 1795 it is going to fly high this time then we should look forward to 1802-1808 levels so this is what it appears on the downside 1780-85 zone is a very strong support and then 1774 and 1770 will come into picture directional movement is still bullish trying to converge stochastic is overbought now looking downwards the MACD is uh, trying to converge it is wide divergent bullish till now RSI is near to top now looking downwards and if you look at the 3 hour charts see on the 3 hour charts higher low so 1790 is a giving it a very strong support now so in do not trade between 1790 and 1795 that is also very clear below 1790 yes you can go short and see this level at 1788 now it may provide a little support however i think it may slide below this it should come back to this zone at 178084 this zone is important it can come back till towards these levels because see this was the resistance zone earlier now it can come back till there before looking forward to a rise so yes you can go short at 1790 expect it to drop a little but remember it is not bearish it is not bearish it is just a retracement because the day is long it has just started hence i should consider this as a, a retracement and yes it can rise again towards the end of the day taking it above 1800 levels possible directional movement is bullish a stock stick is overbought which again makes me confirm that probably we can see a retracement on the downside directional movement or uh, MACD is a uh, wide divergent see the height is done it is trying to converge from here again a sign that probably we can see a little drop RSI is near to top and if you look at the four hour charts similar is the observation on the four hour charts three candles strong resistance trading outside the Bollinger Bands strong indication that a pullback is done it is trying to you know getting the resistance from the uh, top of the Bollinger Bands there yes probably once you see it below 1790 you can expect that it may give you another red candle taking it till towards 1785 82 and 80 levels very strong support lies there and in fact if it continues to drop we can see 1774 the next support so this zone it may try to hit in before looking forward to a rise or uh, a bullish run again directional movement is bullish 
stock ISIC is overbought on the 4 hour charts. The MACD is still divergent and it is still bullish. And if you look at the RSI, this is also overbought. Now. Look at the daily candle trading at the top of the Bollinger Bands, getting the resistance at 1795. Uh, Trying to retrace, probably once it breaks below 1790, yes, it can get a pullback on the downside. My expectation for it to achieve 1784, 1780, 1780 is a very strong support. Then 1774, 75 zone and then 1770, these three levels you have to mark out for. Achieving anyways from these level, it can retrace. So yes, you can remain short, but be watchful. It can reverse again from these levels. Also look at this. See you should watch out for higher lows lower highs and where is the pivot pivot is right now at around 1770 so yes it can attempt and achieve these levels but be cautious because it is still bullish till the time it trades above 1774 70 i'll not confirm that is a bearish move still it can bounce back so yes you can find out an opportunity to buy from those levels but be uh, alert the safer long levels are at only above at 1795 levels directional movement is bullish stock elastic has dropped and again trying to rise the MACD is divergent and it is still bullish and the RSI is comfortable so only long entry today is above 1795 and yes till the time it trades below 1795 you can expect it to come back till or retrace till towards first target 1784 then 1780 then 1770 475 and then 1770 below that you can confirm that probably it may go back till towards again 1763 64 levels it is only if it trades below this zone at 1760 you can confirm that this is bearish else this is just in retracement it can try to come back till towards 1774 1773 levels also from there we may see a bounce back a good safe long entry is above 1795 only else it may trade moderately bearish trade accordingly now let's have a look at silver silver on the hourly charts you can see 2025 zone giving it a resistance see uh, i have always maintained 2025 2030 2040 2040 how many times did i tell 2040 to watch out for now again 2040 gave it a resistance looking downwards see Retracing now if it breaks below the zone at 2015 go short and below 2015 you can expect it to drop more below 2015 my target is to expect it come to come around 2005 and 2000 levels below 2000 you can expect a further drop till towards 1990 directional movement is moderately bullish stochastic looking upwards MACD not indicative of anything RSI is moderately trading with a downward slope now look at the two hour charts see interestingly on the two hour charts higher lows lower highs trying to confine itself within these levels and that is why i say go short at 2015 support at 2010 below that you can expect it to come back to 2005 and 2000 levels 2000 is a level you should watch out for today below 2000 it will definitely try to hit 1990 levels any breakout above 2030 go long directional movement bullish stochastic looking upwards MACD trading with a very little divergence. RSI is also trading flat. Similarly on the 3R charts, it is still trading with this moderately bullish bias. But be watchful, it is trying to trade in this channel. And hence a good long entry rather I will say is only beyond 2030. Beyond 2030 you can expect that 2040 should provide very very strong resistance and beyond that 2050. See these levels you should note out 2040, 2050 multiple times in my weekly analysis, daily analysis, multiple times I have told this is a very strong resistance zone and I am reiterating this since past multiple weeks also. So yes, yet again these levels are coming into picture and yes for the day I think going long about 2030 should be good but then 2040 should provide a resistance, 2050 should be the next resistance on the downside, go short at 2015. Directional movement moderately bullish, stochastic looking upwards, MACD is trading with a little divergence, RSI trading flat, similar is the observation on the 4 hour charts, directional movement is bullish, stochastic is comfortable, MACD is looking forward to converge and crossover, it is trading in the sell side right now, RSI trading flat and if you look at the daily charts, now look at the daily charts here, lower highs, higher lows, so Probably today we may see silver either trading in a narrow zone 
दैट इज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी थर्टी टू टू जीरो जीरो फाइव और टू थाउजेंड सी इट इट कैन ट्रेड इन बिटवीन दिस बट एनी ड्रॉ बिलो टू थाउजेंड शुड बी अ वेरी गुड इंडिकेशन दैट इट कैन गिव यू इक्वल साइज ऑफ कैंडल वेन आई से इक्वल साइज ऑफ कैंडल सी हाउ मेनी पॉइंट 25 points and from here if you count almost you can see 2020 to 9 uh, you can see this zone at 2000 to so yes it can probably come back till towards 1980 levels so till the time it trades below 2030 i think probably we can see a, a little drop and it can retrace on the downside go short at 2015 and then you can expect 2005 2000 as the first support zones then 1990 and then 1980 level should get achieved so take your positions accordingly only long entry i will recommend is beyond i think 2030 but be watchful from 2040 it can reverse from 2050 it can reverse but not beyond 2050 beyond 2050 it is definitely extremely bullish so yes you can go long at 2030 but you have to trade with the stop loss you have to trail your stop loss at cost and it can reverse any point of time you have to ensure that you should not lose your capital because it is still not bullish till the time it trades below 2050 so take your positions accordingly yes it can rise a little but ultimately i think it should come back down till towards 1990 or 2000 levels at least but be watchful these are markets beyond you and me this is a third green candle probably it can continue in green so take your positions accordingly do not short anything till the time it is above 2015 do not long till the time it is below 2030 take your positions accordingly on the upside be watchful and cautious of 2040 2050 thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead join my mentorship batch starting on 8th of august only couple of seats left 15 days 90 minutes and a lifetime support is what you get and yes you can join my vip signals group too reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you